Hello again, everybody. Welcome to Indie Gaming League's Winter Circuit. It is Friday in week two, and we have a matchup tonight between actually uh, two IGL franchises Best Buds United, Misfunctional Squad. It's going to be taking on Roadkill's Prudes. Prudes? Yeah. My lead speak isn't as good as it once was. Of course, this is a matchup out west. It's tier two, champ three to 1599 GC or thereabouts. Division one, for those who care about which division it is. Let's uh, go to the tape, shall we? So, misfunctional, sitting at one and oh. Roster, midpoint, Millsy and Giffy. And for the Prudes from Roadkill Esports, they're sitting at 0-1. Their roster consisting of Ziggy, Toby Killers, and Nerdy Off. And um, we'll go into the stats a little bit. So Misfunctional 1-4 and four last week. Here's kind of how it breaks down. So... Melzy leading leading the way. It, it, not surprising. I guess the disclaimer is uh, this is uh, basically misfunctional is also my threes team that I'm subbing for. So um, I know this. <laughs> I know this side somewhat. Um, so not surprised uh, to see everything here. Um, kind of split the watch for uh, just kind of plus three in four games. So. This functional kind of got crushed in the, you know, in the game that they lost and kind of had to dig themselves out. And over on the other side, looks like a sweep, unfortunately. Well, okay. Well, can't see who. I mean, I'm not gonna drill into the game. Um, but yeah, minus eight sweep. But still, like you can't you can't read too much into week one. Like there's just there's just way too many things that could happen. I need to see what my Discord says. Okay, Mitty responding. Um, you know, and like actually, um, kind of as we saw last night, um, you know, I mean, we did have the matchup of, you know, two teams that got swept um, in threes um, between the Yoink and CV19 matchup. Like, you know, it's just got to go out and, you know, fight your way back into it like CV19 did. So, yeah, not going to count out Prudes at all here. Shouldn't. Um, you know, maybe if, you know, 0-5, you know, and, you know, they were unfortunately just getting thumped, but, like, you know, it's it's still early, and they have, they have plenty of time to rebound. Um, so, you know, and they could have also just played the top of the league, too. Like, that happens. Like, sometimes you're just a good team and you just run into just the very elite because um, that's the way the schedule falls. Um, so, yeah. So, I would I would not read into this too much. Um, you know, it's kind of like they got up, you know, <laughs> the sign got to prove it. And, you know, as we kind of saw from the misfunctional stats there, um, you know, they've, they've, They've got some work to do. I mean, I saw the game, so yeah, I cast it last week. So yeah, um, you know, firm is functional. Don't don't get suckered in by the stats. Go out there and play a game, you know. And for for Roquel Prudes, just get out there and get back into it. You know, go ahead and rebound. Um, 
So, in keeping with all the stuff that I have done uh, for week one, like, you know, I just, well, from week one, I just basically say, it's going five. I'm not going to, like, offer a prediction. Um, it's still, it's still kind of early, um, you know, and, and one week does not a season make. You know, that's that's why you got, you know, six weeks weeks worth of this stuff. I mean again, the super small sample size technically favors misfunctional, but you know. Yeah, you you know, I'm not I'm not gonna be bold and and make a make a prediction here. Obviously, like I, you know, to to, to put on the, the BBU hat and the squad hat. Um, would like to see my team win, but you know, nothing's nothing's guaranteed. So, um, hey, Mitty. So yeah, we just uh, as I said a lot. There's a reason why we played these games because if it was one on paper, well. First of all, everybody would be tied because I don't know how you determine winners after week one based on paper. So, yeah. So while we're waiting on both sides, um, let's see. We had like a ton of action earlier from tonight. Uh, read the rules. The Heat Seeker team, uh, one in four, bringing their record to one and one. Um, yeah, we had like five games ago, so this is like. <laughs> Going to kind of be a light weekend. Welcome, Rocket from Roadkill. Um, uh, what does Discord say? Did I get the password wrong? Possibly. Well. All right. I got a remake. Just. I hate myself. Ander. Your password not working? Uh, yeah, something's not working. Okay, I'll remake. Thank you. Ah. Okay, let's uh, try this again. I just want to show this that this is a great feature of Rocket League right now. <laughs> so apparently I probably had a typo in my password. Um, the, for on the roadkill side, the information that was given out uh, should still be correct whenever I can launch this. Because... Private matches are a pain in the butt to create, apparently.
I hate Rocket League so much. You know, this free-to-play update was great, but, man, this nonsense with the private lobbies is just awful. Once again, howdy to all the fine folks from Roadkill. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna just... <sighs> yeah, well... Keep trying this. We'll just do it for me. It worked. Yay! It only took me like three tries to recreate this lobby. Uh, all right. Um, good luck to both sides. Wow. I thought I turned that on. I'm, I'm really prepared tonight. Milzy and Kiffy starting for Misfunctional, and for Roadkill Prudes, we got Tubby and Ziggy. Tier 2 matchup out west underway. Best of five, week two action, IGL. Blocked there for Milzy. Kiffy shot, saved by Tubby. Tubby on the counter, sends it down. Mills kind of pops it up. Comes down to Ziggy. Ziggy was looking to control it. Nice challenge from Tubby. Ziggy on the follow through, off the side wall, setting up Tubby. Tubby couldn't get all that. Kiff. Nice save from Ziggy. Mills is gonna get there for, nope. Tubby gets it around. Gets a demo. Ziggy on the challenge. Good challenge, also buy some time. Millsy beats Tub. And Millsy with the flick gets it around Ziggy. This functional score. 55 seconds in here in game one. Still playing Rocket League to play. Kick off deep into Miss Functional Zone. KF with the miss touch. Clears it out. Up sends it in, blocked by Millsy. Gets a follow-up bump. Millsy bumped off by Ziggy. Ziggy trying to control that through the corner. Gets it. Kind of working on Millsy, but lost control there. Kiff was backed off, so Tubby gets the clear. Flip of doom from Kiffy. Ziggy just pushes it a little wide to the right side. While still in misfunctional zone. Kiff with the clear. Millsy on the break. Beats a defender coming back. And it's 2 nothing misfunctional. 3-12 left here in uh, game one.
Fake kickoff. Ziggy descending that in. Clear from Myth. Kiff. I hate when. I guess the insider joke here is the misfunctional name. <laughs> Even though it's spelled wrong. It technically it should be MY, but whatever. Mills gets a dunk there on Ziggy. 3 0. Two forty nine left here in game one. Ziggy challenge on Mills. Technically wins it based on the color of the trail. Tiffy knocks it down to Toby, and Toby bangs it home for about midfield. Cuts a deficit. Three one right now, misfunctional, but a nice shot from Toby. Great placement. 236 left here in game one. Millsy slow play challenged by Ziggy. And Ziggy beats Millsy to the ball. Just past the halfway mark. Road kills. Prudes find themselves down by one. Again, nice shot there. Good placement. Nice block from Tubby. Ziggy, wise, Ziggy wisely backed off. Catches it. Working on Kiff. Kiff saves a 1v1 attempt. Millsy there to block Tubby. Prude still in the attack. Tubby down, though. Millsy takes out his end. Gets hit by Ziggy. And Tubby with the block. Ziggy partial clear. Man, nice block on Millsy. Kiff's going to get there first. Tubby's looking to knock it down to Ziggy. Ziggy was blocked. Millsy. Open net. Kiff puts it away. Dysfunctional back up by two. We got 136 left here in game one. Kiffy misses. And Tubby's there to punish. Nice response from Prudes. Back down by one. Kiffy looks like he learned how to catch balls from me. Nice bump up from Ziggy. Also got a touch as well. Curve from Tubby, follow up by Zig. Ziggy, air dribble. There's Millsy. Millsy sends it away. Gets there first. Not a good hit. And Tubby's there. Tubby gets it around Millsy. Trying to get around Kiff. Could not. Ziggy picks it up. All oh, loses control of the ball. Under a minute to go. Nice challenge from Tubby. Tries to get a second on Kiffy. Kiffy got the clear away, though. Center from Ziggy looking for Tubby. Very difficult angle for Tubby. Still almost had it, though. Approaching the 30-second warning. Timely demo for Milzy. Tubby was trying to set up the center pass. Banger from Tubby. Up high. Ziggy puts up for a backboard read, but there's Kiffy. I think that ball unfortunately bounced up high. Time running down. Millsy, poor touch. Ball hits the ground. This functional man to hang on there.
Well, see, that's why you can't go on stats alone. So Ms. Functional takes that four to three. Um, but I have to say, like the like the fight in prudes. So let's see if we let's see if they can bounce back in this game. Try and even up this series. Kick off back to Kiff. Please don't stay like that. Evil red packet loss. Nice challenge from Tub. Ziggy there. Nah, block from Millsy. Yeah. By the way, all the names ending in Y is not going to screw me up tonight. Nice shot from Tubby. Banger alert. We'll call that pass completely and totally calculated. Regardless, that's a nice shot from Tubby again. And this time, Prude strike first here in game two. Just 33 seconds in. Ziggy round one, working on Kiffy. Kiffy Cred with the save there. Nice block. Don't be trying to keep the attack going. Ziggy, ground air dribble. Gets around the team. Nice solo effort there from Ziggy. Just a minute in. Prudes find themselves up 2-0. Ziggy, centering through the corner, looking for a second touch. It's cleared away. Slightly off target. Ball comes out to Millsy. Millsy's starting his own air dribble. And beats Tubby there. He's trying to check the name. And Millsy cuts the deficit in half. Mm, looks like Tubby got... Might have been creeping. Might not have even known it either. Ziggy follows up their own touch. Trying to center her off the side. Could not. Millsy. Oh, poor touch on the clear. Tubby was trying to knock it back in. Ball eventually was picked up by Ziggy. Ziggy. Blocked by Millsy. Gets a foul through demo. Ball's on front. And the demo opens up the back of the net. Challenge there from Tubby there. Kind of centers the ball to Ziggy. Prudes back up by two. 3-1 three, here. Game two. 3-0-3 three, oh, three left. Kiff collects it. Challenge by Ziggy. Good challenge. <sighs> Ziggy almost gets a hit on Mills. Millsy beat... Beat the team. Passes it to Kiffy. Kiffy puts it in the open net. Prudes. Still up by one though. 243 left. Side miscommunication there from Prudes. No harm though. Kiff sends that away. Tubby there, collecting it. Nice win on the challenge here from Ziggy. Trying to get around Millsy. Does, but that ball comes out a little too hard. Tubby looking to put it on net. Saved by Mills. Ziggy looking for... At least the center.
Tiff trying to clear it. Does. Beat to it though by Tubby. Millsy puts on the back wall. Red by Ziggy. Sent away. Millsy gonna pick it up. Challenge by Ziggy. Tubby sends it in. Looking for the right upper 90. Might have bounced out. That's why Kiff didn't get a save. Demo, temporary two on one. Nice patience there by Ziggy. Even bring across the net. Ziggy did have the angles covered. There's actually good control there. Oh, double commit from the Prudes. Millsy puts it in the open net. And ties the game up. We got one left, 12 left here in game two. Can looks like rotational slash comms error. Oh, what an unfortunate 50. Kiff reads it off the post. And suddenly Miss Functional R is up. 106 left. Nice play from Tubby. Just patience. Look at his patience. Once it gets Millsy up, then has choice on placement. Ties it up. Under a minute to go here in game two. We're tied. Ball's cleared away by Tubby. Gets a follow. Interfered with by Millsy. Millsy gets around one. Nice clear from Tubby. Good read off the back wall. Sends it in through the corner. Is going to get a follow up? Trying for the tight angle. Kind of had had the chance. But really difficult for, to score from that angle. Uh-oh. Millsy one-on-one -on -one versus Ziggy. Beats Ziggy and puts it in. 18 seconds left. Prudes know exactly what they need to do to tie this up. Force overtime. 18 seconds in a dream. And Kiffy looking to put game two away. Gets the second touch off the backboard. 12 to go. Possible. Tubby. Gets the ball in the middle. Kiff looking for one for the road. Doesn't get it. But Miss Functional do take game two and they advance to match point here. So again, definitely some definitely some fight in prudes. I think. I think again, it's just it's coming down to the to the small things here. I mean, they've definitely they definitely could take at least one. They're not making any mistakes. Like, you know, a reverse sweep is possible. Kind of got the game one jitters out of the way. And then just... Fortunately, just kind of fell apart kind of at the end of game two. So, again, let's see let's see what they can do in game three. Misfunctional, for their part, looking for the sweep. And Millsy with the flick there. Gets it around Tubby. Scoring first for Misfunctional. Just 25 seconds here. Yeah, 25 seconds in here in game three. I can words...
Missed hook from Tubby. Kiffy's up. Looking for a second. Ziggy on the back wall. Good clear. As he gets around Ziggy. Tubby with the block. That was kind of like a good opportunity for Miss Functional, but good hustle by Tubby to get back. Tubby pops it up. Ziggy up. Fakes it. Kiff with the miss. And some of the mind games here. <laughs> Tied up. One apiece. 355 left here in game three. Double commit though. Does clear the ball. Recruits need to be careful on that. Nice 50 from Tubby. Tubby. Just couldn't get the right touch on that. Hits it through the corner. Ziggy puts it on. If he need to save that. Ziggy trying to center. Nice save there on Tubby. Off, off the misfunctional counter attack. Ziggy chasing Milzy. As he gets it around Ziggy. Those are looking for some sort of flip reset. Didn't get it. Ziggy pegs it down and beats Millsy. And the long range bombers from Prudes. Doing some work. Doing some work here. And they find themselves up in game three. Misread from Ziggy, though. Gets the pinch off Milzy. Or at a 50. Tubby sends it in. There's Mills to Clacked. Nice challenge from Tubby. Nice hit on Milzy, too. Good harassment. Gives Milzy a love tap. As he put that aside, Ziggy on the challenge got it in, but couldn't get a follow up. Tubby looking for the block on the clear. Couldn't get it. Ziggy picks up in their own end. Gets it around Millsy. Oh. Looking to push that in the middle. Or catch it. Do one of those two. Two up again for Prudes. Need to be careful on that. Good clear from Tubby off in their own back wall. Millsy kinds of pops it in. Ziggy block. Millsy pushed it way wide. Air dribble looking to pass. But Tubby's there. Just sends it away. Collected by Kiff. Millsy sends it in. Nice save from Tubby. Nice read too. Gets a clear. Prude's counterattack. No. Ziggy just needed that 100, picked it up, but got demoed from behind. So some clanger action there. Tubby challenged by Millsy. Millsy rang it off the post. Kiffy got the rebound, put it right in off the post. So 116 left here, game three, tie game. Oh no, unfortunate for Prudes. Kickoff goal. What happened? Ziggy landed wrong. Maybe flipped wrong too. So Prudes. Need an answer here to at least keep the game going and the series. Nice save from Tubby. Gets it out. Looking to bring around Millsy. Could not. Millsy off the side wall. Looking to center. Ziggy with the 50. Millsy picks up. Tubby, nice read. Puts it in on net. 
What a save from Kiff! Centered. I can't blame either either Prude member for going for that. It did leave the net wide open, but I I can't blame them for going for that. Still 33 seconds left. This functional up by two. Again, Prudes, well, they know exactly what they need to do. Ziggy saving off the crossbar. Kiffy in time-wasting mode, but that's not a good time-wasting. That's three's time-wasting. And the bad play there for Misfunctional gives Prudes hope. They need to get a favorable kickoff here. Kiffy sends it in, but Tubby, Tubby collects. Tubby sends that in. Ziggy on the redirect. Rocket League, this might be. Heads up play from Tubby. And Ziggy was there to put that away. Prude's still live. Overtime, game three. Millsy could not get a follow-up touch. It's cleared by Ziggy. The Kiff beats Ziggy. Cleared by Tub. Millsy partial challenge win, but it's collected by Ziggy. Ziggy bringing it around through the corner. Looking for a hit on Kiff. Tubby putting up, trying to put it up high. It's a good idea. Uh-oh. Ziggy missed the second. Millsy working on Tubby. Nice save from Tubby. Kiff is up. Looking to knock it down. No, puts up high. Waterfalls down. Good read from Ziggy. Clears it. Should buy a little time for Prudes. Millsy, though, picking it up. Ziggy not up, and Millsy puts it away. 57 seconds in overtime in game three. Misfunctional pick up the sweep. Some good fight, some good fight out of there from from Roadkill's Prude Squad. You know, sometimes you'll you also take what the opponents will give you, and you know, Prude's uh, caught caught their way back in this from some, I'll say, charitably very questionable defense from Misfunctional. Um, and I was. Let's be honest, that was a heck of a play at the end of end of regulation there. Good challenge from Tubby. Right right placement and everything. And like good heads up play from Ziggy to put it away to force overtime. Um kinda looked like at the end, unfortunately, just like you know, the low boost situation. Um that Millsy was able there to beat Ziggy. Um so, um, but I will say that, uh, Prudes did give, uh, did take the fight, did definitely take the fight to Misfunctional there. Definitely made them, uh, work for it. So your quick recap. Some early game one jitters. Ah, stupid mouse. So early game one jitter saw Misfunctional kind of jump out to a lead, but Prudes responded. Unfortunately, could not claw it back. Um, in game two, there was some back and forth action. Um, unfortunately, just kind of just you know just the slightest of mistakes, and late in the game, it, that game got away in game two from 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 Roadkill Prudes. Um, but it was tied, it was tied with like 115 or so left. Um, and then here in game three, like 
kind of fruits kind of had to claw their way back into it they kind of actually looked out of it uh really really late um but you know don't give up um take advantage of the opponent's mistakes and again that that banger of a play at the end of regula regulation with no time left um and prudes managed to tie it up and force the overtime but looks just like uh low boost and uh milsey managed to to get the sweep there in overtime so uh gg's to both teams um well played um good luck to prudes with the rest of their season um you know unfortunately they they fall down too but you know still still four weeks left anything can happen um i definitely like definitely like the fight here uh that they brought out um you know my my armchair quick hit analysis is just you know and this matchup it just seemed to be the little things is that they kind of got kind of got a little antsy you know um kind of rushed up a you know, got beat, you know, as second man back, you know, on the, the occasional double commit actually got punished. Um, but, you know, again, they also did their, their good job of uh, punishing some of the misfunctional mistakes as well. Um, so, you know, you know, the, the, despite the sweep, um, you know, I think they, I think they did a pretty good job, you know, misfunctional guys, same thing applies. Just be careful of the mistakes. Like, you know, you you got it. You got a sweep, but you know it was it was kind of close. And who that gave that game three? Um, putting on the BBU hat. That's that's not what you want your opponent to do. Um, is you know take advantage of you letting them back in the game. So you know something something to keep the mind. You you know something to keep in the back of your head. Uh, going forward, puts a commentator hat back on. Um, so, anyways, that is going to do it. Um, just a rundown of tonight. Obviously, we saw Miss Functional here. I guess I should put this up. Um, got the sweep. Uh, the Heat Seeker team read the rules one and four. Um, as for the rest of the week. Coming up, um, 9 p.m. Eastern on this channel. Scorpions are in action. I'll be broadcasting, as always. Um, whenever the dysfunctional, the threes team, we can figure out when we're playing. Um, I'll let it BBU Discord know. I don't know if that's going to be broadcast or not. Um, I think we were shooting for tomorrow, but we'll see. And then on Sunday at 9 p.m., also on this channel, uh, the Sewer Rats are in action. They are playing Old Fellas. Um, and I think that'll close out the week. There might be one or two games that I don't know about that haven't fired. Um, but, you know, if they... Again, if they know, uh, well, BBU, check out the schedule. Um, it's in the Discord. Under BBU events, I think. Match schedule. I do my best to keep that up to date when I know about matches. Um, so yeah, uh, but I'll go ahead and do it for tonight. Uh, thank you all for coming out tonight. Um, I'm probably going to call call tonight uh, personally, because um, well, I'm brain dead. Uh, but again. Whether you watch live or are catching this on the VOD, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you all, well, obviously Saturday, uh, 9 p.m. Eastern. Everyone, have a good night.